Hello, welcome to this video. So in this video I want to extend slightly on what we did in the last video which was adding and plotting the 8 period moving average. I'm going to, just underneath granularity, make a new variable called MA list. And as you can imagine, after executing that cell, we have a list here of values that we're going to use to calculate different moving averages. So I'm just going to execute the other cells that we've had before to make sure everything is up to date and stop at this cell here. So we were calculating the 8 period moving average here and we want to add some more moving averages onto our data frame. Just as a quick recap, our data frame DFMA at the moment looks like this here. And what we could do is we could copy and paste this line for each time we want to add a new moving average. And whilst that's okay in a notebook for a bit of exp exploration, it's not okay when you end up with a script and maybe you've got a parameters file that you read in to do simulations with different settings and different moving averages. Now if you do that, then hard coding the column names here isn't going to work very well. So we're going to need another way to do things. And the way we can do this is just by looping through this list here. So I'll copy the MA list value here and then just hit enter on the left hand side of here if I can get the cursor in the right place and just say for MA in MA list. Indent this so it's part of the loop and as you know by now MA will represent each individual value inside our MA list. So it'll be 8, then 16, then 32 and so on. So when we're creating our new column here what we want is a formatted string and instead of the underscore 8 what we'd like here is MA. I think the F was here, wasn't here when we finished the last video but I've been doing a bit of prep since then and I left the F in by mistake so don't forget to write the F. So we end up here with the column being MA underscore and then the value of MA. So the column will be 8 or MA8, 16, 32 and onwards. And likewise we need to substitute in the window here the MA value. And now we execute this, the execution is instant, despite the fact that we're now calculating, I can't remember how many, six different MAs. So shift and enter just to drop all the MA values, and now we can have a look what we have in our table. And now you can see that very, very quickly and with little effort, we actually have a load of moving average values on here. And this gives you a sort of glimpse into how easy it's going to be to actually test out combinations of different moving averages for, say, a crossover strategy or something like this. The last thing I'd like to do is I'd like to plot all of these lines. So I'm going to execute this DF plot. Let's take uh, 200 candles, not just uh, 100 candles. And now what we need to do is we need to change this add trace a little bit. And we're going to do exactly the same thing, funnily enough, as we did here. So let's copy this 4MA and MA list. We'll indent the addition of the trace here. I'm going to take off the color in the line dict because we'll let Plotly just assign a random color to our lines. And one thing we're going to do in here is we're going to make the column name here. So we know that it's MA underscore and then a placeholder and the value of MA. And then what we can do is take this column name and here where we have df plot, we can put the column name and here for the name of the trace, we can put it as well. And that should be all that we need to do, hopefully. So I just execute this. And indeed, you can see we get our plot with all of our MAs on the legend on the right hand side. And we can see all of our lines on a candlestick plot. With so many MAs, it's all a bit of a mess and confusing. But you get the idea now of just how easy it is to start adding more and more indicators and parameters into your data set. So short but sweet, this one. Uh, hopefully it's made some sense and you're beginning to understand the direction we're going in. Thanks very, very much for watching. Comments or questions, welcome as always. And see you in the next one.